Welcome to this holy instant now. An instant to stop and remember. Remember who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and limitation. All that seems to limit you in this world is only an illusion that demands your continued belief and attention in order to have any power over you. Now is your opportunity to let go of whatever stands in the way of your complete awareness of your true and original self. Sit back with your spine upright, get comfortable, and take a deep, slow breath. And as you exhale, release both past and future, release both memory and imagination, and become fully present in the now. And let's begin. The contemplation with which we begin today's practice is this. What is the last judgment? The last judgment is not a future event where God judges and condemns individuals to either heaven or hell based on their earthly actions. Instead, it is the natural unfoldment in the process of forgiveness and awakening to one's true spiritual nature. It represents the moment when the children of God, having gone through forgiveness and the undoing of their egoic beliefs, come to a realization of their oneness with God and with all of creation. The final judgment on the world contains no condemnation, for it sees the world as totally forgiven, without sin, and now wholly purposeless, without a cause, and now without a function in the eyes of Christ. It merely slips away to nothingness. There it was born, and there it ends as well. And all the figures in the dream in which the world began go with it. Bodies now are useless and will therefore fade away because the children of God are limitless. What is false is false, and what is true has never changed. This is the judgment in which the dream of separation ends. If you had believed that God's last judgment would condemn the world to hell along with you, receive this holy truth. God's judgment is the gift of correction he bestowed on all your errors, freeing you from them and all effects they ever seem to have. The essence of God's final judgment is this. You are still my holy beloved creation, forever innocent, forever loving, and forever loved, as limitless as your Creator, and completely changeless, and forever pure. Therefore awaken and return to me. I am your source, and you are forever one 
with me. Take a moment now to contemplate the last judgment and what it means about you, about everyone you see, and about the world. Take a deep, slow, and full breath in now. And as you exhale, enter into the moment of contemplation now. And now, take one more deep, slow, and full breath in. And as you exhale slowly, let your mind and body relax and open your awareness to the idea with which we practice today. My Creator gives all power unto me. The self in me whom God created is limitless. There are no limits on his strength, his peace, his joy, or any attributes his Creator gave in his creation. What he wills with his Creator and Redeemer must be done. His holy will can never be denied because his Creator shines upon his mind and lays before it all the strength and love in heaven and on earth. I am he to whom all this is given I am He in whom the power of the infinite Creator's will abides. Infinite Creator, Your will can do all things in me and then extend to all the world as well through me. There is no limit on Your will and so all power has been given to the Holy One whom you created as my true self. It appears as though destiny and fate have their way with you. It appears that other people's will can interfere with your own. It appears even that circumstances of life can determine who you are, what you feel, what you think, and what you believe. Yet all of this is the illusion of the dream matrix. Your power appears without though it is within. Perception is still projection. Inside first, 
you determine what you would see, and then you behold it with your eyes on the seeming outside. Your power is immutable. All the meaning that you see in the world, in any event, in any circumstance, in any relationship, and in any judgment that you have of yourself or anything else, is the power of your own authorship. You draw the power and presence of God to create an illusion where God appears absent and your power seems to have turned upon you as this world outside of your control, outside of your will. It has given us in this journey of awakening to reclaim all the power we have used to limit ourselves and use it instead on behalf of salvation and the liberation of both self and world into the true expression of divine freedom, true joy, and the full awareness of our oneness with God and with all things. Infinite Creator, your will can do all things in me and then extend to all the world as well through me. There is no limit on your will, therefore there is no limit on me. And so all power has been given to the Holy One whom you created as myself.
And now, take one more deep, slow, and full breath in, breathing in all of the energy and frequency of your practice, integrating it into your thought system and perception now. As you exhale slowly, relax and release and allow the integration to take place. And remember to bring this feeling and this awareness with you into the rest of your day. My Creator gives all power unto me. The self in me whom God created is limitless. There are no limits on His strength his peace, his joy, or any attributes his creator gave in his creation. What he wills with his creator and redeemer must be done. His holy will can never be denied because his creator shines upon his mind and lays before it all the strength and love in heaven and on earth. I am he to whom all this is given. I am he in whom the power of the infinite creator's will abides. My gratitude is to you for investing this time and energy into your awakening and the awakening of the world. If you enjoyed and benefited from this practice and wish to support this channel, take a moment to like the video, subscribe to continue the journey, and leave a comment in the comment section below, sharing what you will embrace and what you will release that will allow you to step ever more fully into your true self today. May you be at peace and know your true self.